Hi, it's Nicole. Hello, you, and Kyle. And Kyle. Do you ever feel like this? <laughs> yeah, I kind of know that feeling, especially this week since our hamstrings are absolutely killing us. Are your hamstrings ever dead and you have a leg workout ahead of you that you don't want to do? <laughs> have you ever bricked your hamstrings? Because <laughs> we have. Because we have. Okay guys, it's been a really long week and I am exhausted and this is kind of like we've we pushed we're testing ourselves and we made our treat day one day later so instead of Thursday we're doing it on Friday now so our bodies after eating clean are just dying and we're ready for a treat but it's not today. <laughs> Today is more legs. Today is more legs. We did hamstrings earlier. Today is quads. Um, we wanted to sort of show you guys that sometimes we don't have the motivation to work out either. Today, this is the absolute last thing that I want to be doing. Um, I'm exhausted. I would rather go take a nap. Like I said, it's been a really interesting, long and tough week. I was sick at the beginning of the week. I had the stomach flu. Um, and I couldn't eat, so um, I had to take off a few days of working out, and today I really don't want to do it. But just so you guys know, on these days when we don't want to do it, these are the days that we make sure that we do it because it, it keeps that consistency and it, it makes you so proud of yourself when you work through something that you really didn't want to do and you get through a tough workout when you really were feeling like this. <laughs> um, you're so proud of yourself and your motivation is bumped up and usually the first few sets when you're really feeling low, they suck. But once you get going and you're in the groove, you start getting a second wind and I mean that's what happens to me. A lot it's, of it is mental that we found like yeah. it's just the lack of motivation to get in the gym. Once you're in the gym, you're warmed up and you're going you feel okay, you feel actually great, and you're like, well, yeah. I'm glad I did this. But it's getting yourself there. So yeah. if you, when you feel like this, if you can just get yourself there, you're still making a change. Even if you can't give it 100% like you normally do, um, I tend to sometimes, I, I get hard on myself because if I'm feeling really low like this, like really tired and exhausted, I kind of beat myself up for not giving it as much as I do on other days where I have more energy. Give it your all on that day with the energy that you have. Just, just get yourself get to the it. gym. Walk yourself, drive yourself, whatever you gotta do, just get in there. When you get in there, give it as much energy as you have, and then when you're done, you did it. Be proud of yourself. Because most people, if they're feeling low and they're not really wanting to do it, they won't. So just get yourself in there. You can do it, we do. We are doing it today, and you're going to see some of our workouts. We got quads and calves. Yes, today. we do. Baby cows. Baby. <laughs> we always joke that our legs are like baby moose legs when we're done because we're all wobbly like that. You this. ever seen a baby moose being born? <laughs> And you see how they walk? Well, go on YouTube and watch a baby moose walk. And that's how we're going to be walking after this leg workout. Yes, it is. So today we're doing legs. Um, when, when I, it's getting to be fall now and you know how skinny jeans are in for girls and even guys, I think. Um, and tights and boots and leggings. Well, when I was heavy, I never ever thought that I would feel comfortable enough to wear tights and leggings. Even when I was losing weight and I was close to where the weight where I am now, I never thought that I would feel comfortable showing my body like that. I never thought that I would be wearing normal boots, not wide calf boots. Well, sure, it starts with your diet, but doing certain exercises helps as well. And I am now at the point where I feel comfortable. I have skinny jeans, I have leggings and tights, and I wear them in public and I feel confident and comfortable. And so we're gonna show you how the workout will help tone and tighten a female body. And for a male, it helps Kyle put on muscle in his legs. Uh, it definitely makes both males and females stronger. But this, if you think that you are never gonna wear tights and leggings, 
and you will never get out of wide calf boots. Ladies, this is the workout for you because it busts your butt and you just give it your all and you will notice a difference. I notice a huge difference. I'm so much tighter um, and toned and I feel so much better and more confident. I wear tights when I'm working out now. Um, Those are nice, Spider-Man. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Fancy blue. Maybe they'll perk me up. <laughs> yeah. So let's do some leg moves. Yeah, and uh, we'll put the actual like the sets and reps in the description below for you guys in case you guys want to do this workout. See you in a minute. Let's get at it. 